So are you getting the force quit applications? Your system has run out of application memory error on your Mac. So this is something that came up with a colleague of mine and we were trying to figure out, hey, how do we, you know, the, the goal was to export or save a Microsoft PowerPoint a video presentation to transfer that into an MP4 video file uh, that she could then put into her course materials and or uh, upload to YouTube. Um, but this was not happening because every time that she went to do a save as or to export in her PowerPoint presentation, she was getting this error. She was thinking, oh, I'm not technologically savvy and you know, I don't, you know, this, I'm just having issues and I don't know how to make PowerPoint work. Well, that's not, the, it's not due to not being technologically savvy. It was just due to, you know, some issues with the Mac. And uh, here's are the steps that you want to kind of run through. If you run into a, an error where it's telling you that you've run out of application memory. Now there's a lot of stuff out there on uh, YouTube and, and in blog posts that, you know, maybe you need to get a better, uh, more RAM or a bit more, a bigger hard drive or whatever else. You know, I think those are more kind of what I would say nuclear options where, you know, a last, last resort type of things. So by focusing on what I'm going to go through now are things that, Hey, how can I, you know, how can I deal with this right now and see if it works? Uh, you want to try the, the easy stuff first. And so here's what we're going to do. Uh, and this is what we ended up doing and it worked just fine and solved our problem. So what basically we're running into is as it's kind of pointing out, we're running out of application memory. So somehow the memory that's being used, uh, and, and typically it's temporary memory. It's just memory that's being used while your system is running. It's being used up. And uh, when you look at this Mac, Microsoft PowerPoint uh, Air, in this case, you know, 44.67 gigabytes, that's a lot of space, all right? That, that's more space than, than even something uh, that, that an application's going to use on your computer just to install it, okay? So for instance, Microsoft Windows 10, um, I believe, I don't know for sure, but I, I believe you could install Windows 10 on a hard drive that is uh, only has a capacity of 70 gigabytes. All right. And so this is, this is 45 gigs here. You know, think about that. Um, that's, that, that, that's a lot of space. So it should be down where that finder says uh, megabytes. It really should be megabytes that we should be looking at. So something's going on. We can tell already something's going on with, with PowerPoint and the memory that's going on here um, that, that's using up. So um, as you look around for ways to fix this, you know, what, what I zeroed in on was um, how to fix the memory issues on the Mac. So what you want to do is what's going on here is the cache memory is being used up. So um, the cache is what we need to clear up. Okay, you're going to go up here in your finder. And we're in the finder now. We're going to go to go and then go to folder. Okay, you can see I started typing out there already. So you want to use this little squiggly line. It's That's a, uh, the tilde, I believe. And then you want to use a forward uh, key, which is uh, the same thing as your question mark key on your keyboard. That tilde is next to your one on the keyboard. And then you want to type in library with a capital L. And then you want to do another forward slash. Again, that is on that key. Uh, same key as the question mark, and then you're going to type in caches. And that's gonna take us to the cache file. So these are all the temporary files that are being loaded up right now. Size, it's not giving me a whole lot of size, and that's probably because these are so small that either one, they don't even have anything in them. Let's open up Avast. Um, open up again just to kind of go see. Yeah, there's there's nothing there, and that's why that's not showing anything. So you see how that's just using this one right here is just using 895 kilobytes. I mean, kilobytes is nothing. That's smaller than a megabyte. Uh, this is 13 kilobytes. All right. So that error that we were looking at, if we go back and look at that error code, it was gigabytes. I mean, that's that that's serious something going wrong when you see something you're using gigabytes of cache memory or gigabytes of application memory. So anyway, this is where we would go, and you would highlight everything and go like that and then do a right click and then move to trash. Okay. We're going to empty trash. Going to right click on the trash, do an empty trash. All right. Sure. That's okay. There's something there that still needs to be running that P list. Uh, that's uh, normal. We're going to exit out of that. Now, 
that's just one of the things that we want to do as kind of maintenance here. We're going to do two more. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to go up here. We're in the finder. We're going to go to go. We're going to go to go to folder. And once again, we're going to do a forward slash library, you know, the, the squiggly line, which is the, the tilde, forward slash library, forward slash. We're going to take caches out. And this time, we're going to do logs. Click on go. Same thing. Going to highlight everything. Right click. Move to trash. And then I'm going to right click on the trash can. Going to get rid of it. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure. Going to exit out of that. And then we're going to do one more thing. We're going to go back up here. We're going to go to go. And again, once again, we're going to go down to go to folder. And then once again, this time, we're going to do library without the tilde. Just a forward slash, whoops, forward slash, library, forward slash, caches. And this is just another section of, or another place on your hard drive that also has cache. So that, that first one had a tilde in front of it. This one does not. Click on go. And again, this is more stuff in this cache folder. Can I highlight everything? Again, I'm holding the shift and then... Um, I'm clicking the first one, holding the shift button down, clicking on the last one, and that highlights everything. I let the shift button go and everything's highlighted. I'm going to right click, move to trash. This time it's wanting my password. And it doesn't like. I think that uh, that password did work. Evidently, something else, and it's a, probably a protected system file. It's not wanting to be deleted, and that's fine. It it got rid of the bulk of the stuff, and that's fine. All right, and then we're going to do exit, and that's it. So then you would go back and rerun whatever process you were trying to run in the in the uh, when this this error code was thrown, and see if it works. In our case, we went to the file, uh, the PowerPoint file that we were trying to export. And we did an export to the MP4 that we wanted to do and it worked. No errors, no, you know, no issues with uh, application menu uh, or application memory errors. Uh, everything came out fine. So this, uh, let me pop that back open here. Error did not pop up this time. So that's how you would fix your system has run out of application memory on your Mac.